I, I think you've got, you've introduced, Philip, uh, a good example, even if it's not something that in the end is, is worth putting a lot of effort into. I don't know, but it's certainly a good example. And we can learn a lot by studying a good example. What came to my mind is, well, you want something a bit like BibTech. So you yes. write, yes. So, so you write the data, the, you, you provide the data, and then you have a style file that does the, does the translation. And, and that would make it easier for the author, because you can actually give a thought, you can actually say, fill in this form, and this will do your front matter for you. And it would sort of provide some checking, if you like. The other thing is that if you write the front map to Vera form, then in some sense, you already own the data you created. Whereas if you write it in LaTeX, then that will go through the publisher's publishing system and get converted into XML. And they will own that XML. Um, and of course, that front matter data is all part of the metadata that allows the uh, journal to um, make better use of the data they've got. And make better use means both serve the scientific community and sell more copies of the journal and the article. So some sort of bib tech for front matter of an article sounds like a good idea. And actually by using BibTech, you know, the publishers, that makes it easier for the publisher to have some custom bibliography style. It actually um, makes it easier for the publisher to look different if they want to look different because the work is done by the, the BibTech style. It's not done, it's not done by expecting the author to, to mock it up. I think as geeks, uh, this is with Nelson in mind. <laughs> um, not that he's any more geekish or uncultured than any of us, but uh, 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 we like standards because we like putting things together. Uh, when you, I never had, well, when you assemble Lego, you're taking advantage of a standard. And, and, and the same goes for the Meccano and constructor sets that I use. All these things, they have these sort of interchangeable parts that fit together with particular roles. And isn't that what computer programming is about? You're, you're relying on the standard. And when you have data that's messy, you sort of don't like it. So as a, as a software engineer, our response to the profusion of front matter side styles is, well, there should be a standard for them all. There should all be variants of the same standard. Whereas from a sort of user's point of view, the user only wants to write one article for one journal at a time. So he's only got one problem at a time and the absence of a standard doesn't really um, show itself to him and, and, and so he has to switch to something else. Um, yeah, it's one at a time, but you know, people do write for different journals and you know, some text might be recycled from a conference proceeding to, to an article, to a thesis, whatever. And then maybe you wrote for the journal five years ago. And in the meantime, they've got a new class style. Normally that shouldn't be a problem, it's used a new one, but you know, with the front matter, they might have a different template in the sense that you have to sort of restructure what you're coding in because it's not covered by the standard uh, uh, commands and so on. I think we've got a lot out of this discussion and I hope there's a consensus of something like BibTech for front matter 
has some attractive aspects to it and it's something that is more tedious than it should be. So maybe we could put that to one side. It won't disappear because it's been recorded. And think about some other tasks. So Philip writes papers. I wish I wrote as many papers as Philip did. And that's uh, one of his niggles in terms of writing papers. 